but it's it's amazing, you know, to see how God uh, opens your eyes and for what purpose. This has been a a progression in my life, but you know, I I never really. Um, thought about prophetic words that much. I mean, I enjoyed them, but I wasn't flowing in that. But you know what? I wasn't asking for it either until I started like going places to speak. And then people were talking to me about these issues of their heart. And I thought, Lord, I have to know something. I'm not just going to get up and give them nothing. I have to be able to talk about these things. Lord, you have to give me words. And so the Lord gave me words. So uh, and th- and it began to unfold, but it wasn't like you know, bam! Suddenly, I just had this full blown gift where I, I could see and hear and all that. I told you it's been a progression in my life. Certain obstacles had to be removed, but the Lord showed me that if I was diligent to pursue something, that I would get a breakthrough in that. So I knew if I needed a prophetic word or I needed a word about a situation, I could go, I could go to my prayer chair. It might take me a day or two days, but I would come away with the answer, literally what what was going on in the situation. So we don't stay in the prayer chair for two days. I just want to make that clear to you. It's not like we're going to live the rest of our life waiting two days for a word. This is, I'm unfolding my journey, okay? So I remember this uh, friend of mine in Europe, he, he's waiting for the breakthrough in his ministry. He has a powerful prophetic gift himself, and he's, he's just, um, he, he sees things. You know, I, I had things happen in my life, and he knew about them, and he, and he wrote, and he told me about visitations I'd had. And even uh, in the moment visitations I was having, he sent me a message. And uh, so he had a powerful gift, and so he said, Mike, you know, where is my breakthrough? I know I'm called. I know the Lord's given me a gift. Where is my breakthrough? Where's my financial breakthrough? Where's my breakthrough in the Lord opening doors for me? And so he said, I want you to tell me. And I said, but you know I don't flow in this. I can't just tell you. I'm, I'm just waiting. I'm hearing nothing. And he asked me for like a year. He kept asking me. And so finally I said, look, I will go for you since you're so... Uh, is like the woman with the unjust judge. He just won't be quiet. And he just continued asking and asking. I said, okay, I'm going to the chair for you. And I spent two days in my prayer chair, and the Lord spoke to me exactly. I mean, I saw what was going on in his home, and I saw where his breakthrough was waiting. And so I was excited. And so I told him, I said, I know what's happening. And so I, I've got to t- give you the hard news first, and then I'm going to give you the, the good news. And so the hard news was, uh, you're too hard on your son. You don't give him the grace that you want from God that, for your own life. I said, you judge him too harshly. You expect too much of him. He's not walking in the same place you do. You're angry with him too much. You don't show him enough. And I just, I just told him exactly what I saw. And, uh, and he said, that's none of your business. <laughs> So I said, okay. And he said, oh, but give me the good news. Well, you know, I, I'm just going to tell you guys, without dealing with the first, I, I told him the good news, but it, it didn't happen. And the good news was that the Lord uh, w- was asking him to write an instructional manual, and it would open doors where his gift would be taught and shared with other people. But the Lord could not open those doors until he dealt with the other thing first. Because he wasn't going to send out this man who's, who's wounded and angry to minister to his people. And so, but I, I just explained to him that you're, you are supposed to write this manual explaining how God speaks to you and how, how you move in the gift that you have. And, and he said, well, God's going to have to tell me that. And so I thought, oh my goodness. I, I, I just prayed, Lord, at least let it be a seed because I don't want to think I just spent two days wasted <laughs> for this guy. But, you know, uh, when you begin to see and your senses begin to be, um, I don't know, just uh, increased to that level, you see what's going on. You know how to pray for people.